good morning everyone and uh, thank you for taking your time and joining the session today my name is lakshmi um, i have around 13 years of experience in oracle e business suite and oracle fusion applications i have been working in uh, oracle fusion application for the past three and a half years and uh, i'm very privileged to talk about Oracle Fusion Applications Technical Overview with all of you. Okay, so let's start with the session today. <coughs> so, today I'm going to cover what is Fusion Applications, Oracle Fusion Application Architecture Diagram and what are the different Oracle Cloud deployment options. And among along the deployment options, I will talk about the SaaS versus PaaS model. And later than the scope of our training course, that is Oracle SaaS model, I'm going to talk about Oracle Fusion SaaS. And within that, what are the inbound integrations what are the outbound integrations and what are the reporting tools that we use in the fusion applications that is otbi and ba publisher i'm also going to talk a little bit about hcm extract and also we will be talking about how to extend and customize the fusion applications and securities in the fusion applications that is role based access control and the workflows in the fusion so these are the these are the overview what we are going to cover in this two day session and uh, yeah let's begin with so what is fusion application what is that what is oracle fusion so oracle fusion applications actually is a product of oracle and it was announced by oracle shortly after 18 billion dollar acquisition of peoplesoft jd adwords and siebel systems in 2005 so oracle acquired all these applications and uh, after that and oracle itself has their own proprietary product in 2005 before that is oracle e business suit and along with the business suit when they acquired peoplesoft jd adwords and siebel systems by the combination of all these modules together oracle announced in 2005 that they are going to bring oracle fusion the new product new erp systems for the fusion but though they announced in 2005 in 2011 actually this fusion application became into the market okay and this fusion applications why they were they were the this this fusion became so popular right so Oracle uh, uh, spent thousands of man hours money and energy and they got uh, best in best in best product that's what they they are they are saying they're saying it is the longest or it is the uh, uh the largest man was spent on any project in the man mankind history especially with regards to software applications this project is one among them okay <coughs> and as I was saying, when I say best of best, what does it mean? Oracle Fusion, whatever Oracle Fusion uh, uh, is developed, it is it is it is developed on on open standards. I mean, they built on open standards based platform. Means they got a uh, uh, different Western class products and they combine together and uh, on that all the fusion applications were built in both technical perspective and as well as 
functional perspective. So the technology framework, what they got into is the Oracle SOS suite, which provides a complete set of service infrastructure components for designing, deploying, and managing any composite applications. Right, and they got Oracle WebLogic server. It it actually it's in uh, 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 where our Java Enterprise Edition applications can be hosted. And I get Oracle J Developer is in the IDE with end-to-end -end support for developing, managing, debugging, optimizing any Java-based applications. Has Fusion itself built on the Java, right? And along with uh, whatever I was telling before, along with PeopleSoft, JD AdWords, uh, Siebel, along with that, Oracle also bought Sun Microsystems, right? Once when they bought Sun Microsystems, Oracle moved all the applications to be built on Java based, right? So Java based is the front end framework of the Fusion applications. And Oracle J developer is the place where, which provides IDE to develop this end to end development of this Java development uh, applications using the ADF application development framework. And Oracle BI, that is Oracle OBIEE, -E, Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition. It is also a very, very powerful tool which offers the end to end reporting systems with, with, uh, with, uh, with rich content and, uh, uh, and uh, extending the securities from the Fusion applications, which is very useful and we'll be learning about it thoroughly in our technical sessions. And Oracle Web Center portal, it actually provides. It's a tool to pro, to create enterprise internet portals or web, transactional websites or social networking websites. All these things can be created on Oracle Web Center portal. Okay, and Oracle Web Center content is actually to whatever enterprise to leverage the documentation management, the web content management, the digital assessment, asset management, and the records retentions, all these things can be maintained in the Oracle Web Center content. And Oracle Enterprise Manager is actually very, very uh, key in that. Maybe uh, uh, as a, as a uh, the SaaS model, the, the model where the last projects go, go there, most of times we may not see all these components but learning the components is very much useful because we should be aware on what what uh, components our fusion applications are built so this enterprise manager we may not see it most of time but we'll be using it thoroughly it offers a uh, uh, second sorry yeah so it, it, it offers uh, the integration between the between the different applications and it integrations between the uh, database and applications and application to middleware and within middleware interaction between all the applications all the enterprise management will take care of that which will do the health check which will do the uh, uh, disk management so all kind of we can say which will give a support experience of all these applications okay and last one is oracle identity management which enables us the life cycle of a user mm -hmm. creation of user to the assigning roles to the user to updating the user and dating the user on user means who access the fusion application so all these things can be controlled oracle identity management so these are some some different different uh, actually the, all these components may not be belong to Oracle once a time but Oracle built Oracle got what is the best identity management in the market bring those features if there's some some product is offering the best identity management buy that product similarly web center content a portal or uh, 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 SOA applications so they, they went into the market got the best of the best of the features and best of the products they combined all of them together and they built 
they brought it in the fusion middleware on top of it they built the fusion applications while building the fusion application they got the best on best business processes from oracle e business suite from peoplesoft from jd edwards from siebel from oracle on demand they got into all these modules they got the features from all these modules they combined together and built on best business processes on top of this open standard based platform that is why it became so popular so scalable so adapt adaptable so flexible to to build your applications when we have the open standards based platform it is not necessary only fusion applications can be hosted there you can host any of your applications that can be a custom application that, that can be any other application you can host on that middleware and use it okay so that is that is that is the best they have offered through and once we have this uh, middleware once we have this uh, best in processes built on the middleware how you can deploy it in your company so even in this case also oracle has given multiple ways of deploying the uh, 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 fusion applications uh, uh, in your uh, in your company it means you can host that you can host all your applications in the public cloud when you say public cloud it is hosted over by in, in internet by oracle okay and uh, uh, it is maintained by oracle and oracle provides the end to end support of it oracle takes care of upgradations oracle takes care of patches oracle takes care of any breakage happens in the application i'm going to talk about that in a while in the next slide and the other way also oracle and again in the public cloud what happens is what as oracle maintains supports and uh, 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 gives us the infrastructure so the way the oracle cloud public cloud works is many organizations share the same application okay i'm going to talk about that in a while when is the private cloud private cloud also can be hosted by oracle but oracle gives a dedicated location to our company saying that hey this data center is only for you you can use it it cannot be shared by any other companies or any other organizations that is another way of offering offering our uh, uh, hosting our applications okay so most of times public cloud go, goes into the saas model i'm going to talk about in a while and private cloud is going to talk in the paas model saas means software as a service paas means platform as a service so when we say software as a service that goes to public cloud when we say platform as a service that go to a private cloud where oracle host it oracle give us the infrastructure and oracle maintain some components and oracle gives us a private location where we can host our application and we can maintain our application so it may oracle may not support the complete maintenance of the application because some of them is being hosted by us if anything breaks in those things it is our responsibility to fix it oracle won't support it we'll talk about that in a while and other one is on premise it means in our company in our location on our premise we are hosting the software it means we are buying the applications fusion applications and fusion middleware and we are bringing it to our cpu our memory and our uh, processor so infrastructure is ours but the middleware and the fusion applications uh, suit is from floracle and we get it and install it in our company it, it is within us so our dbas our network team has responsible for that and the hybrid model where oracle also offers a hey some of the things you can host in your own company and some of them you can still has a flexibility to host a product side oracle can offer that one too so so with all these options open based standard open standard best platforms best business processes and multiple deployment options that's that's why it becomes so scalable so flexible extensible adaptable that is the reason um clients are 
are tending to move towards the fusion applications because of all these features okay okay so let's let's move further as there's a technical overview my intention is to, to show the architecture diagram of the fusion applications and as I was telling if you go with the public cloud where Oracle maintains everything you may not see all these architecture components in your day-to-day -day life but you'll be working on that but you won't be seeing it if you go to the private cloud maybe some of the things you might be seeing it in your next next diagram what I'm showing to you when you go to on-premise most of times you will be interacting with all these components okay this is the architecture diagram it just uh, shift and uh, lift and shift to uh, our ppt from oracle website okay this is the typical oracle application architecture diagram what what we will be working on our day to day basis okay so as i said don't worry about all these things some of them you won't be looking at it most of your time but knowing about this is very helpful okay. <clears throat> so if you see I will divide this whole architecture diagram into uh, three main parts okay the first part at the top of it is called Oracle Fusions product family and the second one is called Oracle Fusion middleware and the last one is Oracle database Okay, and the and the left side Oracle Enterprise Manager. I has I was I was telling before Oracle Enterprise Manager, which actually integrates all the applications, interacts between all the applications, makes sure they are they are up and running, makes sure they are talking to each other. So Oracle Enterprise Manager, it can interact with all these things. Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud for all these three sub components, and also within the middleware also Oracle Enterprise Manager Fusion Applications Control make sure all the middleware components are interacting with each other and within Oracle Database it will make sure that that these two components are talking to each other and integrate each other that is what Oracle Enterprise Manager functionality is okay so these are the three main components so what is Oracle Fusion Application product family as I said when we got best of business processes and uh, as I said uh, as we know Oracle Fusion application is an, uh, an ERP product enterprise resource planning product it means it brings a lot of functionalities along with it okay mentions to mention few some of them here Oracle Fusion customer relationship management which can manage customers contacts and resources of our company Oracle Fusion financials Oracle financial management which includes which will maintain our typical financial transactions in our company with general ledgers cash cycles invoices payments account receivables collections sub ledgers everything Oracle Fusion financials product will maintain okay oracle uh, fusion governance risk and compliance which actually talks about uh, uh, our uh, company policies our process management and uh, risk and compliance management you know a company all those things can be handled in the this module oracle fusion capital management itself will say which can provides uh, payroll or uh, which can operate a payroll or uh, uh, I recruitment or uh, career progression, subscription planning, profile management, uh, performance management, all these things can be handled in the Oracle Fusion Human Capital Management. And Fusion Procurement, Fusion Procurement which actually, uh, which actually maintains the purchase orders, requisitions, supply negotiations, all these can be handled in the Oracle Fusion Procurement. And Oracle Fusion projects, which includes how to plan the budgets for costs, collection costs, bill customers, and all other stuff. And Oracle Fusion setup is actually another powerful tool which is being offered by Oracle, and which was uh, 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 which is also uh, uh, called as Oracle Fusion uh, Functional Setup Manager we can we, we can we use this oracle fusion setup uh, uh, module to implement any project in the fusion applications okay which, which will help us 
you know in it implement any product example it can be hcm or financial or a project or anything it is functional setup module what will give to implement hcm module what are the steps we have to take it will give the list of uh, main task lists in each task list will mention what are the task you need to perform so it will give a step by step tasks to perform to implement any of these modules when you click on that task it automatically go to that task where you have to do the configuration not only that fusion fusion functional setup manager while 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 showing up what task need to be done and also it will it will maintain that it means for each task list you can assign to any user or a user group or a role where we can also keep tracking of the status of it whether they have completed that list of tasks or not or how much percentage is completed and where it is so it can also maintain the uh it will also maintain the uh, status of the task actually which is very powerful uh, uh, module and uh, uh, leveraging it thoroughly is very helpful for the successful implementation okay and oracle functional fine as uh, sorry supply chain management it actually again it's all, it's all about uh, which integrates uh, uh the chain processes from design planning and procurement to manufacturing to order fulfillment so we do all those things it's another module from oracle uh, fusion so it's, it, these are some these, these are they may not be complete list of uh, product families but there are some of them but there are many other product families oracle is offering to and uh, uh, they were keep on growing too okay yeah coming to the oracle fusion uh, middleware right so i, I think i already spoke about fusion middleware little bit already so let's talk about uh, uh, some more things which we were not included uh, in the previous session okay so here this uh, uh, in the fusion middleware i will divide this whole thing into two components okay so one is oracle fusion middleware infrastructure components for oracle fusion applications and i will say oracle fusion middleware components what does it mean so whatever the top 3 listed in this oracle fusion middleware infrastructure component for fusion applications these components are used only for the fusion applications what does it mean it mean as i was telling before you can leverage fusion middleware not only for the fusion applications you can leverage it for your customer appli custom applications to your own applications too okay so it means in the fusion middleware these th above three are only for the fusion applications remaining everyone you can use it for mm -hmm. you can use it for any of your uh, uh, fusion any of your fever fusion uh, uh, sorry any of your fever custom applications Okay, so give me one minute. Yeah. So, yeah, in the first, the Oracle middleware infrastructure component for Fusion application, as I said, there are three things: Oracle Enterprise Call and Search Framework, Oracle Enterprise Scheduler, Oracle Fusion middleware extensions for Fusion applications. Let's talk a brief time about these three. right so what are called fusion middleware extensions for fusion applications what does it mean it means we have fusion applications here and we have the uh, uh, fusion middleware components here and database here so when we work with the fusion applications we need some extensions on the fusion applications what do you mean by that example you want to keep additional fields on the screens of the applications in our traditional e, uh, erp applications we used to call the flex fields descriptive flex fields key flex fields like that so similarly in fusion also we'll we have offered some extensions on the fusion applications and uh, uh, extensible fields on the fusion applications using the ds descriptive flex fields key flex fields and extensible flex fields if someone has attended the fusion functional classes maybe they may be aware of these flex fields not only that when we say extension doesn't mean only the fields 
what if you want it to modify the customize the application what if you change the appearance of the pages what if you hide some fields or what if you want to make some fields as uh, uh, required change the labels if you wanted to do all those extensions on top of the applications then those extensions will be stored in the in the ui shell that is called user interface shell and those informations will be maintained in this oracle fusion middleware extensions for applications right so those things will be maintained here and whenever you access the fusion applications from the middleware or from the database these extensions will be applied to that fusion applications based on who is accessing the application and uh, that those things will be displayed okay there are some more comp concepts in the fusion up middleware extensions for applications like a tree flattening uh, uh, other things maybe we will cover later point of time okay next thing is oracle enterprise scheduler what is it which is what is it specific to the oracle fusion application salon what is it? it means oracle has given a scheduler where they can define schedule and run different types of jobs that can be a report or that can be a, uh, a, a typical uh, uh, application related job or it can be related to any uh, a distributed job anything those things can be we can we can uh, schedule it we can tell the system hey run this job at that point of time hey run this job uh, weekly or monthly we can define the frequency of it too and all these things can be done with this oracle enterprise scheduler okay so and then oracle enterprise crawl and search framework which is also a very powerful tool and it's also it also helps it it actually the way it works is you can search for any task search for any functionality in the fusion okay one is once you search that automatically that functionality will show up in the results and once you show up in the results then you click on that you can click on that task you can directly go directly go to that screen the task screen where you can go and do the operations example if someone if, if someone is already aware of the fusion applications maybe if you go to setup and maintenance and in the setup and maintenance if you search for any task automatically the task will come up in the search list and if you click on it you can go there if, if someone has already seen that if not how it works is enterprise crawl and search framework if you go to a search screen and if you search for any task example example you want to create a legal entity or example you want to create a location if you just search for location automatically it will open a screen it will it will show the results saying that okay define location or main as location if you click on the main as location link automatically go to your screen where actually we have to configure the location so it actually it 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 for whole enterprise not only not only HCM it will, for anything it will it will it will crawls the whole enterprise and searches the framework and pulls the information and you can you can use that uh, uh, to to go to that respect to task list it is also very powerful and I am sure you will be keep using it as and when it's needed maybe. Maybe you don't know where to go and do the configuration. Suddenly, a client comes to you and asks you, hey, where can I see the customer page? And you don't know that. Then no need to worry. Just go to this uh, uh, the search screen and search for it, customer, and automatically will show the list of things where you can, uh, 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 you can see the customer details. And based on that description of the task list, or task name, you can click on it and go to that respective place. It's a very powerful tool and is very very useful yeah. and coming to the oracle fusion middleware components we already spoke about few things before the application development framework it is a place where we use j developer ide to create the java applications to create deploy manage and uh, um, debug the applications where we create the fusion front-end applications using the application development framework it's all java based and the Oracle Web Center content, as I said, it maintains the 
uh, it's a repository of uh, 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 of, of enterprise uh, documentation uh, web content or uh, uh, any other related information Oracle identity management is actually as I was telling before end-to-end -end user maintenance creation of the user updation of the user as in the roles deleting the user and dating the user all these things can be done here Oracle Web Center portal I discussed already it is a portal where we create enterprise websites social networking websites or internet portals we can create all that Oracle business intelligence it's again it's a very powerful uh, tool which we can create uh, 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 create uh, reports and uh, uh, that report can be OLTP reports or OLAP reports and uh, uh, it, it gives us uh, to create uh, dashboards analysis and uh, deliver the report to the respective destinations can be an FTP server can be a printer can be an email can be a fax machine or can be uh, any other location and it, uh, we can also use this for predictive analysis and uh, enterprise reporting. There are many things we can do with the Oracle Business Intelligence. It's not limited to. Okay. And Oracle Enterprise Performance Management. Oracle Enterprise Performance Management, what it will do, it will actually uh, keep tracking the status of each, uh, 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 each component, each middleware component. Oracle Enterprise Manager actually do the integrations between everything what I call performance management is actually uh, uh, check the health status of each and every component in the fusion applications okay and what I call as well sorry what I call uh, uh, web gate Oracle WebGate always goes along with uh, before Oracle WebGate let me complete this Oracle uh, HTTP server Oracle HTTP server is the place where all the uh, 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 all the requests whatever we are receiving from the external applicational systems maybe a user can request the fusion application or a uh, or someone over the internet can request the request the access to the fusion applications or try to request some web page from fusion applications the http server is the place which actually takes those requests and responds responds to the requests Okay, so uh, if uh, if someone wanted someone logs into the fusion application what happened the username and password should be sent to the fusion application so HTTP server is the place which will take that username and password and and uh, uh, and uh, it will engage the respective fusion applications based on the request what what is received and uh, maybe it will go to the identity management identity management will validate the username and password and makes it okay this person is successful and identity management says that okay this person is trying to give the access fusion application management send the fusion application management page to the user then it will come back to the http server that H that that uh, uh, H hcm page and http server sends that page back to the user so http server is the place where where the requests and responses will be served when the request and response will be served before contact on http server there's a web gate which will which will stay before http server and the web gate actually actually interacts with identity management to authenticate the access okay that is the, that is the web gate which will stay before web http server and also while contacting web gates that the whatever request it is coming to us, whatever user is trying to access the u access the application, they have to follow some uh, security management policies. Some security policies has to be ha has to be uh, cleared, has to be maintained. Okay, if a web service is being called to the fusion application, they have to satisfy some security policies, and after the security policies are satisfied, then WebGate will uh, will allow the user to go into the fusion applications. So WSM policy manager do that. Oracle Web Service Manager, which actually do that management. So WebGate, WSM policy management manager, and Oracle HTTP server they all go together hand in hand okay, what I call data integrator what I call data integrate is the ETL tool of the fusion applications okay so ETL tool of fusion application means 
it just you know, extract transforms and loads data either from fusion to other applications from other application to fusion applications that level of integrations that level of auto extractions transformations and loadings can be done with the oracle data integrator which is very powerful tool which again this oda tool was bought by oracle from some other vendor and uh, it was very popular for many years okay <coughs> and the last one is um, yeah not the last one oracle sos suit oracle sos it is it is the heart of this oracle middleware which will orchestrate all the fusion applications all these fusion middleware components are actually are actually leverages oracle sos suit functionality which is very very powerful and if you if someone want to learn oracle middleware sos is the first place to start with okay and oracle bpm suit oracle bpm suit is nothing oracle business process management suit it is nothing but where all the our workflows are configured so the oracle fusion workflows are built on this business process management what do you mean by workflow a simple workflow can be if an if a uh, uh, example take 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 a, a promotion if employee want to go for promotion then uh, someone manager initiates the promotion then immediately employee won't get the promotion that one has to go to some director or a recruiter or a payroll manager for the approval and from there it will go to other hierarchies if needed so that level of flow it is a sample workflow i am saying so that level of things if you need to do they all comes under workflows same thing purchase order or expenses or recruiting applications every application will follow the workflow and notifications all those things are built on this oracle bpm suit oracle business process management suit oracle bpm worklist is the place where we uh, we do that okay and oracle web logic communication services is nothing but uh, 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 it i think but it is it is nothing but a, like a enterprise service bus which will keep sending the messages we keep carrying the messages from one component to other component it's a communications between the all the all the services can be maintained uh, with this uh, web logic communication services okay and all these things will be hosted on the oracle web logic server uh, uh application development framework or any application related stuff will be hosted on the oracle web logic server okay this is the components of oracle fusion middleware and the next thing is oracle database oracle database there are two kinds of schema oracle is one is fusion middleware schemas and other one is fusion application schemas fusion middleware as i said you can use middleware to host any other application it's not only the fusion applications provided you have full access to that and uh, there are two as well you have two types of schemas in oracle database one is fusion application which only maintains the fusion applications related information and data other one is the fusion middleware schema where it maintains only the fusion middleware component specific data okay and coordination between these two can be done by oracle enterprise manager database control okay this is the whole structure of fusion application architecture and uh, yeah we may not be using this and seeing this in our day to day life but knowing this is very useful and unknowingly we will be keep using some of the components okay perfect now let's go to the cloud deployment options which we had a brief talk about that let's let's finish up that one as i said public cloud is again offered by oracle maintained by oracle services are provided by the oracle okay so no need to uh uh i mean we no need to our dbs no need to maintain look at that our network team no need to look at that it means only the technical consultant or a functional consultant or a business manager can alone handle the whole project and maintain it it is reducing cost of the infrastructure team okay because because in this public cloud oracle is taking the complete care of it but one class is same data center same data center in sense they provide a cpu say provide a memory they host our application they maintain the application if application goes down they will make sure it will come up they need to they, if need to apply the patch they will take care of applying the patch 
okay in in, a, in typical before on premise applications prior to the fusion of cloud applications everything used to be maintained in our own companies every company have their own infrastructure and every company has to maintain a typical dbas and a network teams or security teams to make sure everything is working good if anything goes wrong we paste them dbas will come and do the necessary changes but all those things are gone with this public cloud okay if someone looks at uh, uh, if someone looks at an application which 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 can be which don't need any customizations which can be used completely out of the box functionalities then cloud public cloud is the one way to go okay so okay and uh, as i said this is being hosted by oracle and maintained one data center will be shared across all the companies it means whatever whatever applications available that applic same application is visible or accessible to everyone every company a b c d e okay if com so company a doesn't have full access to modify any of the application because company b c d e are using so you do have very limited access to customize the application very limited access to modify the application that is called software as a service model if you gain a mobile if you do, if you if you download example if you say gmail in gmail what you do in gmail you will just uh, uh you will just go and send an email or uh, delete an email or uh, draft an email some set of functionalities whatever google is offering you are able to use that but you cannot you cannot uh, you can modify up to some extent you can modify the look and feel of your gmail screen or you can modify the look and feel of your font or something like that you can create you can create your own uh, folders there you can keep your own emails there and you could only see your emails right but you cannot uh, you cannot uh, change the functionality example while sending an email you wanted to uh, you wanted to make sure uh, uh, let us say i'm saying while sending an email you wanted to you wanted to send the email uh, a copy of email should go to hr manager automatically when you click on the submit button example i'm saying with gmail has that limited functionality i mean you cannot control it from back end whatever you enter from to from and cc that is the only thing you can be maintained if you want to tweak the functionality or modify the functionality Google Gmail won't allow it because that Gmail is an application which is being used by many clients and many employees or sorry many users so one use of two for one user requirement they cannot modify it if 100 users requires or 1000 users ask for the change then they might consider it same thing applies to here as well in data center in public cloud if oracle hosts it it only after offer the service software as a service you need to go and buy the software and the, our software will be maintained here and the remaining everything will be maintained by oracle so you don't have access to anything else apart from your software and even your software also you cannot customize it because it has being accessed by many other companies there are only limited customizations are allowed we have to live with that okay no private cloud private cloud means example if company don't want company company has customizations to be done company has to tweak the application as per the requirement whatever the customizations are allowed in this in this public model is not sufficient for them they have to go extra a bit of it in that case what oracle will do hey i will give a separate data center for you okay all these yellow people are your company people only of company a okay only company a people can see this data center it means you can uh, 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 you will give a separate place where you can host up where we can host application for you and we can maintain the application for you you will have a access to your own database you will have access to your own application and no other customer can see it it means you will have full access to modify the pages modify the application modify the processes you have that ability right when you have the ability when you have the ability to modify and change the uh, 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 things 
then it means what it means oracle has to maintain your data center alone separately it means oracle will charge extra here it is a common so they won't charge extra but here you are they are maintaining a separate for you when they apply patch here they can apply only for one data center but in the private way if they want to apply patch they have to apply patch for you separately so dedicated not dedicated maybe a, a dba has to work separately on your data center okay our network team has to maintain it separately for your data center then what are the problems with that what are the problems with that is as you have access to do the customizations so when oracle oracle i'll do the patches for you but when oracle do the patches if something is broken if that is if something oracle given software is broken then they will fix it if something else is broken then it is your responsibility to go and debug it okay yeah and oracle private cloud is equally being getting popular because as, a, as i said every customer is unique they have their own requirements if everything is satisfied from out of the box then public cloud is good enough if they need to go with some uh, customizations or they have if they want to host your own custom applications uh, 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 into along with the fusion then definitely they have to go with the private cloud okay and on premise on premise means no oracle i don't want oracle to maintain everything i everything i will maintain in my own company so bring everything so hardware software i mean uh, everything will be maintained by you okay so in that case you will buy the middleware and you will buy the software licenses from the fusion and you based on that you will maintain the hardware in your company you will buy that and for that company is responsible for monitoring securing patching and upgrading the systems okay that is called data center on on premise so this is how it is and based on what option we want based on how our company is based on what our company needs we need to choose public or private or on premise or sometimes you can go with both on premise and data center that is called hybrid model in that case some applications you will host in the fusion and some applications you will host in on premise that is called a co distance model okay right so i assume you got understood what are the different deployment options let's and uh, the deploy deployment deployment option based on the deployment option what model you are choosing to buy what do you mean by the model what do you mean by fusion model because based on the deployment options oracle is actually offering us the products fusion products saying that hey if you want to go to public cloud we are go as as we are maintaining everything for you we are going to give you software alone okay and uh, okay this is the screen so for the whatever we have seen right coming to that if you see here in the saas model example before that in the my application my software package at the left stream left side example forget about all this ias pass and saas whatever in the ref, le, in the right three three things forget about that think about only left side initially my software is with with me at the below if you see license is managed by me and it is managed by vendor if the blue it is managed by me initially my software packages my application my data and uh, 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 my runtime my middleware my operating system my virtualization my servers my storage my networking everything is with me only it used to managed by me let's company decides to move their applications they wanted to, to have a better applications so what they will do they have decide what to do with my software package shall i move everything to the cloud when you move everything to the cloud you wanted to take application your your software application as well from the cloud from the oracle it means whatever oracle is offering in their application we have to live with that whatever application you have today does does all those requirements are automatically coming from the uh, from the oracle product example we have a oracle uh, 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 payroll and currently you are maintaining your own payroll here and one while moving to the while going to oracle you will you will explore the that oracle payroll product features and if you see oracle product whatever payroll is there it is give it is giving all the requirements what you are looking for 
you don't need any extra whatever your oracle is offering it is good for you then what you will do okay everything is out of the box i don't need to do do any heavy customizations okay then i'll go with a sas here as primary my application is being itself oracle is offering that application so i'm not managing it okay it and also when when you don't that is a primary factor when you don't need heavy customization it means all the remaining things so uh, whatever whatever uh, uh, data that data also mean database also maintained by oracle we don't need anything uh, from them because we are able to live with what they are offering with okay the middleware itself oracle is offering oracle is maintaining it the operating system on which the middleware is residing it is being maintained by oracle the virtualization the the load balancing between the servers the storage the backup storage the networking between the between the servers and the load balancers everything is maintained by the oracle fusion nothing to worry but you found that no my application when if i want to move cloud whatever oracle is providing out of the box 80% is good as 50% is good but 50% i need to customize that i want what are you are offering oracle i want it to modify your processes then oracle will say oh then we cannot go with saas model you have to buy a storage or buy a buy a separate data center and then you have to host your application you can do customization in that case we'll go with a pass model where we have access to all the application database and we can leverage and we can do the modifications to our application and our data okay it means here when we said data is is maintained by vendor then we don't have even write and insert or update statement on this database we don't have access to write any insert update or delete directly on top of this because we don't have access to database but here as we have access to database we have full access to write insert delete or update whatever dml statements right it means here we can we cannot example if we is it we are using a toad or sql navigator sql developer you cannot connect to the fusion database from your typical sql navigator or a toad or sql developer or sql plus you cannot connect to the database from any of the systems because you cannot uh, you don't have access to the database and tns names and anything but there is a way to write a select queries in the fusion using the uh, uh, bi there is a way for that but definitely we cannot uh, 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 definitely we cannot write one second give me yeah so that's the thing okay yeah <clears throat> so in the pass model we have that level of access right and and but we don't have access to the middleware component middlewares we don't have access to the operating systems okay so but but you want access to the middlewares you want to leverage the soa architecture in the middle where you want to use the oracle data integrator odi etl tool or you want to utilize that web center content web center portal for your custom applications okay you want to use the http server at the full extent you want to utilize the middleware that open standards based middleware for all your other things you want to use the oracle middleware for that right in that case what you want is you want the middleware application data but only the infrastructure the servers the storage the virtualization load balancing and networking only that you need from oracle everything else you want to maintain right in that case you can again you can buy all you can get all this and these things alone oracle will maintain and and uh, so that oracle make sure your instance never go down and the load balancing is proper and the performance tuning is fine everything will take in care by oracle and you can run any application anything over on top of it using their middleware operating system using our middle i mean 
middleware and you can ut utilize it at the full extent you can you can modify it at full extent and you can keep using that okay so these are the different ways how the based on the cloud deployment options Oracle is offering the SaaS, PaaS and IS models okay now the most popular models what we have today in the in the world is SaaS and PaaS most of the Oracle functionalities whatever they are offering clients are able to use it out of the box without doing much customizations that is why most of the clients are moving to the SaaS right and some of them are still some of them need need modifications they are going to pass maybe once because as fusion is still in the beginning phases maybe people keep moving moving more and more into the fusion maybe more and more people go from SaaS to pass but as of now most of products are going on to the SaaS and going to the pass will also increase further and uh, and uh, that need more and more learning okay so let us see SaaS and pass okay so oracle SaaS and pass as an oracle cloud allows you to easily configure SaaS solutions are built totally new ones which are adapted to your nodes which which using pass right so easy configuration can be in SaaS, but to build a new ones for our needs that has to go to pass so SaaS is nothing but a simple customization ux users user uh, screens look and fields okay hiding a field so hiding hiding the content modifying the content modifying the layout of the of, of the screen okay adding a report from the bi into the application all those things can be done here and data fields data fields is making it require changing the label make it read only conditional formatting of the field worker employee should not able to edit it manager should able to edit it okay manager should be able to see it or HR unless can only see it HR specialist should not see it based on the role okay only this set of tools set of reports are visible to the CEO this set of rules are visible to the VP we can we can control that using the business processes so that there is some level of customizations but we cannot uh, do everything but using we can we, we have this a uh, user user users look and feel and data fields and some of the business processes can be modified with the configurations and whatever changes you do most of times it won't be supported along with the upgrades and it won't break with the upgrades and oracle gives a hundred percent support around it in the past model as we have access to our application as our data we can we can uh, uh, we can bring a third party cover custom applications and we can have our own access to our own database and we can create our own tables and we can create our own business objects and we, we have our own business objects we have a leverage to modify the fusion processes and you can write the java code on top of it you can do many things but the problem is whatever the things you will create if they break while doing the upgrade because oracle maintains the because Oracle do the upgrades automatically in the past model if it breaks anything then you you are responsible for your custom logic and Oracle is responsible for the standard logic and and it will be maintained in such a manner right so this is the learning if you go to SAS you will learn everything in the fusion applications within the fusion applications fusion architecture fusion functionalities and fusion uh, 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 fusion configurations fusion processes if you come to the pass model along with what you learn in the SAS model apart from that you have to learn some more how to how to use the middleware component how to use the application development framework to build a new application build fusion applications okay you should know how to write the programs in java okay and uh, you should also able to know it will be good to know uh, uh, learning uh, i mean how to deploy the custom applications 
how to establish uh, connections between the customer and the fission applications learning web services the learning will be much more technical in the pass the functionality learning whatever you do may come on across SAS and pass but technical learning is much more into the past because you, you can leverage full level of access in there okay <coughs> now let's talk about uh, um, integrations so what I will do I will I will uh, talk about this inbound integrations, outbound integrations, reporting tools, uh, security acts, security is what we have in the fusion, the workflows in the fusion, and all these topics in the next session. And uh, uh, today I will try to conclude with the SAS versus PaaS model, and we can uh, talk remaining things tomorrow. Okay, and thank you everyone for your time and uh, we will keep uh, uh, looking at the remaining concepts tomorrow and uh, you can post your questions and i will open up for q and a sessions end of this and then uh, we can talk more on that thank you and have a wonderful day